Where the mining jobs are. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And today I'm just going to have a quick chat about where the new starter jobs are within the mining industry. So we're going to use the keywords underground and we're also going to use the keyword offsider. So let's have a look at underground first. So if we type underground in and give it a spin, you'll see all the jobs come up and there's lots. Entry level truck driving jobs, entry level nipper jobs, nipper jobs, off-sider jobs. There's, the industry is having to hire people left, right and centre all over the country. Now this is hard rock underground mining. So these are your nickel, gold and copper mines. So if we have a look at the gold map, this is the map of where all the gold mines are in Australia. You'll see a lot of activity up in the north of Queensland, the middle of New South Wales, the middle of South Australia, and around Kalgoorlie and all the way up to Meekathara. Now, there's also a lot of nickel mines. These are the nickel mines. Majority of these are big hard rock underground mines that they're in the process of recommissioning. It's one of the reasons why we're looking at the underground jobs. And these are the copper mines. And copper and gold run fairly um, well together. So you'll see a number of the gold mines also produce copper and the other way around. And the reason why copper and nickel are so important is because of the batteries. All the green technology that's coming through needs a lot of nickel and copper and also silver and zinc and magnesium and all the other things that go into making the modern day batteries. Um, Australia mines a lot of it and the majority of it is done in the hard rock underground method. So there's lots of jobs out there with that. You can have a look at um, Underground Training's website. It's under New Starters, Pay Rates and Rosters. And you can go through. And uh, most people start on about $400 a day. And once you get your six months experience up, it goes up to $500 for a truck driver. Around Kalgoorlie at the moment, people are getting $550 and that's going up. Service crew, you can make between $550 and $650 a day. And then you get up onto the um, long hole, charge up, bogger. And those people are making $800 to $1,000 a day. And then the job that everybody wants is the jumbo operator job, and that's making $1,500 to two grand a day. So there's lots of opportunity there. You're not going to be a jumbo operator in five minutes, though. It'll take you five to ten years to get there. Now's a good time to get in because there's lots of lanes opening up with all the new mines opening up and the old mines reopening. So it's a good way of getting in. The other place that mining really needs people is offsiders on the surface and under underground. If you go un off siding underground on a diamond drill rig, it's slightly more civilised. You'll get to stay in the camp and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you go off siding on the surface, I like to tell people that you need to like camping to go off siding on the surface. If you do enjoy roughing it and going out and doing all that sort of stuff, then they're probably paying you to have a good time going off siding. However, if you don't like roughing it and all that sort of stuff, then off siding might not be for you on the surface. And they do go through a lot of people unfortunately. So it's not uncommon if they need a couple of offsiders that they might take five or six people out onto the site with them and they'll lose three or four of them in the first week maybe. And that's pretty a regular occurrence around the place at the moment because it's not for everybody. Now the other area of the industry that needs people again is the um, construction area of the industry. And Alana from Win Win has brought that up with me. We've talked about this at length now. And if you don't want to have a go at underground or the surface off siding and that doesn't really float your boat, then you should have a look at the construction industry. Um, they are having to revamp roads and open mines back up again. It's not the huge, huge dollars it was 10 years ago on the oil and gas plants, but you can still make yourself a really good wage and probably 10 to $20 more an hour than you'd be getting in the city if you have a look at the construction sites around the place. So that's the way that I would go if you're trying to get into the industry. If you want to give Underground a go, then the best place to have a look is our new um, Underground package that we've got going with Win Win, the Win Win package. You get to do all the online training and then Win Win will help you sort out your um, resume and they'll do interview prep with you as well. And honestly, this is probably the best value for money one that we've got going at the moment. A lot of people um, try and do it themselves and you can, but 
the way people do their resumes, you know, if for the extra money, I personally reckon it's worth getting it done. Um, but like I said, you can buy DIY first and then upgrade with the extra 350 to make it whole, or you can just buy it straight out with the $800. And you can use Zip as well as PayPal, or we've got the, um, the credit card link there if you prefer that. So that's the way that I would go getting into the industry at the moment. If you're trying to um, get a job, it's a really good time to get in. It's just the areas of the industry in the past where the jobs used to be. Like 20 years ago, we'd sent you up to the iron ore sites. 10 years ago, we'd send you to the oil and gas sites. Today, it's hard rock underground and exploration. That's where all the jobs are. That's where all the new starter jobs are that's where they're screaming for people and having to hire new starters there are a handful of jobs going in iron ore um, and if you have but the big problem with iron ore at the moment is and this got posted on on the win-win page um, not too long ago that's how I spotted the story it just shows you how um, up-to-date she is with it all um, and this is uh, Rio announcing to the world that they're going to turn 80% of their trucks autonomous by the end of 2022 which is you know next year and that's going to cause a huge amount of people to be a probably made redundant there'll be a lot of people happy about that but there'll be a lot of people that'll be looking for surface truck driving roles and that's just going to lead into there not being a lot of opportunity around moving forward for the surface truck jobs the other thing that's going into that and leading into it all is the price and the price has dipped quite significantly in iron ore and back here where it was going up there would have been a number of mines that over opened up that were using drivers to mine their iron ore in pits that now the price has come down under a hundred dollars US and that makes it hundred and thirty three dollars Australian a ton then that's borderline they're making any money out of it the big three are making money all the way to the bank they're probably costing him only 40 to 50 bucks to land at that, that you know at, at the um, at this price maybe even less so they're making money hand over fist but the other players that have opened up when it was sort of going high there and they've had 12 months of really good money. Some of them have already shut down. Others are you know, giving notice to stock markets that they're going to have to put themselves into care and maintenance and all that sort of stuff. And so that's why there's only a handful of um, iron ore jobs going. I know people, it's the dream job, but it really honestly was the dream job 20 years ago. Now, where all the money is going moving forward is underground it's hard rock underground it's where the jobs are it's where the ore deposits are it's where everybody's ramping everything up so moving forward if you want to try and chase yourself down a job in the mining industry the way to go is to you know sign up for the win-win package and get yourself sorted with all the mining knowledge that you need and a decent resume and your interview prep you, you can give it your best shot getting in i really do think that that's the best value for money so I hope you found that information helpful and if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel that would be wonderful and if you've got any more questions about trying to get into the industry please let us know you can get on jump onto the win-win page um, on Facebook that's got a lot of good information on there and they post a lot of jobs as well um, so I encourage you to jump on that Facebook page thanks